Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today we're going to be looking at the fuel delivery system on our 2007 Suzuki GSX-R1000. What I'm actually going to do is take a look at the pressure, try to determine if it's uh, in range. So, let me go grab a couple of tools, get this tank lifted up, and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, guys, this is going to be a skill level one, really easy to do. As far as the tools that you're going to need, well, you're going to need a five millimeter Allen, an extension, and then a decent ratchet. And most importantly, you're going to need one of these. It's a Suzuki fuel pressure tester, and it actually is made up of four different part numbers. So when you go to order one, if you get a little bit confused, why don't you give us a call and we can guide you as to the exact part numbers that you need. Speaking of parts, well, I don't get to sell you any yet. It depends on what you may or may not find when you're diagnosing your machine. So once you've got your tools together, we can go over there and I can show you how to get it done. All right, as you can tell, I've already been doing some work on this bike, so there isn't a whole lot that we have to disconnect, like moving the seat or uh, taking out this, this tank bolt. So we can just go straight in. All right, first thing you want to do is disconnect your fuel lines. Now keep in mind, if you've had it running recently or if it had been sitting more than a day or so, there's probably pressure inside the line. So you want to have a uh, cloth of some type in your hand and you squeeze those little white or gray plastic ears together and then pull. All right, this one didn't have any pressure in it, so we're good to go. Just a little bit of fuel leaking out. Let's go for the other side. There. Now, to get the tester on, we actually need to remove these two pieces right here. There's going to be two of them. They just slide off from the side. All right, let's go ahead and get the other one clipped off. There we go. All right, this is the model that Suzuki actually sells, and this is the one that they will that you will see at the dealership. Now we do sell these. You have to go and buy you know several different parts that make up the entire system. So you've got one, two, three, four different part numbers to keep up with if you want to invest in one. But if you're only working on your machine and you're just trying to determine whether or not you've got 43 PSI, my advice is take it to the dealership, let them do a quick test on it. It will not take them long to get to it, and that'll give you the answers that you're looking for, at least to point you in the right direction as to be what may be going on with your machine. Now, what are the, some of the signs of a, a lack of pressure? Well, one, sometimes it won't even start if you've got zero, but sometimes you can have some pressure that will allow it to run, but it won't run very well. Some of the issues that you'll see, it won't want to rev past eight, nine, 10,000 RPMs, just kind of falls flat. What that is usually indicative of is the fuel pump that is working, but it either has a, uh, a stopped up fuel filter coming into the bottom of the pump, or possibly one of the O-rings that go up to the, uh, the pressure regulator, they could be bad or they could be cracked and that could cause it. So we've got it hooked up and just on initial startup, what we should see is 43 foot pounds. So let's flip her on. Yep, and she popped up to 43 almost exactly, then fell off just a little bit because there's air in the system. And that's acting like a kind of a big cushion, so to speak. So let's turn it off, flip her back on. All right, this one initially looks like it's doing what it needs to do but that's just reaching the pressure and that's not too hard of an accomplishment for it to pull off. Now where the rubber meets the road is, can it maintain that pressure when the bike is under load? Now ideally, we really would need to strap this thing down to a dyno, get on it, make some type of, get a load actually going through the system and see if it can really maintain that uh, 43 PSI. What we're gonna do just to get an idea to see what kind of shape ours is in, we're gonna crank it up and see if it can maintain just a throttle blip within reason. I mean, if you just wrap your throttle real quick, it's gonna drop some, but it shouldn't drop to, let's say, half. So, let's crank it up and see what she can do. All right, she's got it at 43. 
Honestly, guys, that's what we're really looking for, just doing a static test and popping the throttle a couple of times. So I can go ahead and tell you that the, uh, the fuel pump in here, this one's in pretty good shape. All right, guys, if you're feeling really froggy and want to buy one of these or you've already taken it to the dealership and they've told you which way to go next, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.